three ways to not ruin your life and your money. So I've been observing, studying money for 15 years. And of course, money is a tool that expresses humanity. Therefore, a study of money is also a study of life. And I think there are three way, main ways not to ruin your life and your money. I think these three areas, when people master them, they make money, they expand their wealth, they have better self-love and appreciation, um, and therefore they have a better life. They have a better relationship with money. Um, you know all the people that say that money doesn't make you happy? Oh, uh, you know, all the people that say that billionaires are greedy and tax avoiders and s Satan worshippers. Well, these are just people who don't have a good relationship with money. So the three ways are, are E-D-A and therefore hopefully nice and easy to remember for you. So if you can't manage and master your emotions, manage and master your decisions and then gain accountability for those emotions and decisions, you will ruin your life. You will, because there is either chaos or order. Our life is oscillating between chaos and order. And, you know, some emotions are destructive intentionally. Um, and some decisions are destructive um, consequently. So if you continue to make destructive emotional uh, decisions, then you will ruin your money and your life. Your money or your life, you will ruin your money and your life. So, Mastering your emotions is a simple case of, one, knowing what emotions are. Emotions are reactions to the environment to gain you a reward for safety and security or to make you feel threatened to protect yourself, um, you know, the fight or flight or freeze to gain safety and security. Thank you for the stars, Adam. You're a legend. I hope you're enjoying Dubai. So basically, all of our emotions are reactions to the environment. And the environment is the place and the people that gives us safety and security or gives us threat or danger. And our emotions are continual feedback to that, to us, to move us towards safety or away from danger. So if we can't contextualize those emotions, understand them for what they really are, and then lead us towards making good decisions around those emotions, then we ruin our life and we're always in chaos and destruction uh, rather than order. So let's say we can see our emotions for what they are. You know, the very thing we need to do is uncomfortable. The very thing we fear we need to face. We contextualize the fear. We don't run away from the fear. We don't succumb to the short term addictive emotions. All these things. And these are very intrinsically linked to money, by the way. Because money will make you feel. Because it is a tool for mating, for help for mating. Money is a tool for mating. That's my next live. You want to mate better? Make more money. Um, but thank you for the stars, John Paul. You're a legend. You're all generous this morning. You're all good looking and you're all generous. Richie Richard looks like Virgil van Dyke, one of my favourite Liverpool players. So when you... Ma like managing and then mastering your emotions is simply observing them, understanding what they are, not running away from them, facing them, feeling them, and then making decisions based on balancing them. If you make any volatile um, decisions, and by the way, Paul said that's not true. So be, by all means, challenge me in the comments, by the way, because everyone is entitled to my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think if you don't agree or if you disagree. And hit the share button if you think my content is useful. Um, so we, we have to understand our volatile emotions related to money, our addictions and our depressions, our elations and our um, depressions, and then move ourselves back into balance before we make decisions. If you make volatile, um, if you make decisions based on volatility of emotions, you're going to make addictive decisions rather than things that are decisive and long term. You're going to succumb to the short term rather than have a clear mission and vision. So, for example, when you have a really clear mission and vision, you know where you're, where you're going for the next 40 or 50 years. You will face challenging um, emotions in the moment and distractions. Oh, that looks sexy and shiny and beautiful and easy. Oh, that looks difficult and challenging and hard and scary. But when you know your meaningful mission and vision, you face those decisions with equal balance because you know where you're going. And it gives you the clarity, the distinction, the direction, the confidence and the volition to move forward. All right, so now let's move on to decisions. 
Um, really, uh, to master your life is to make balanced decisions, not overly elated or overly depressed decisions. And I know this one because I've studied it for 15 years, two, because I've got a mentor as a master of this, and three, because I'm an emotional guy. So I have the emotional range of highs and lows. Um, the universe is always trying to bring you back to center. It's always trying to bring you back to balance. You don't always see it, but when you have wisdom, wisdom is usually after an event when the emotions have subsided and you go, oh, I see why that was good for me when you thought it was bad for you. Or when you thought it was really good for you, you go, oh, I see the downsides of that. So that's wisdom. Wisdom is in seeing the equal upside and downside in the balance. And usually you have wisdom way after an event when the emotions have subsided. So get this, for if you want immediate wisdom, what you do is you regulate your own emotions in the moment and you see the upside and downside equally rather than the volatile extreme in the moment, in the pain or in the pleasure, because pleasure and pain are a distraction from your vision. And I know people don't want to hear that, but pleasure and pain are equally a distraction from your, your mission and vision. But you need to have a mission and vision. So what you do is you regulate your emotions in, in all um, oscillating emotional highs and lows. You regulate them into balance. Then you make the decisions based on that balanced state. That's why people say always sleep on an important decision. So you don't make, you, you know, when you've sent that email, ah, fuck you, motherfucker. You can put this in your fucking pipe and smoke it. And then you've said it and then you're like, fuck, what have I done? I've ruined my life. Fuck. Here's the thing. I reckon people are ruining their lives in 10 second um, moments. Those 10 seconds when you're triggered and charged and uncontrollable emotion, uncontrollably elated, uncontrollably depressed. Bang, those 10 seconds of triggering. Chaos, destruction, fuck. And then afterwards you're like, what have I done? I'm never doing that again. I'm never drinking again. I'm never doing that again. And then you go fucking do it next day, day after day after day after day after day after. If you can relate to any of this, I'm seeing people in the comments say true, hit the share button right now. Because when people can respond to their emotions and understand it's feedback only, balance the emotions and see the upside and the downside simultaneously to get wisdom. And then in that balanced state, then you decide and you gain accountability. Your, your life is going to change. Your life is going to fucking change. You're going to make a lot more money. You're going to be a lot more centered, a lot more balanced. You're going to live a lot longer. You're going to have better friends. You're going to have better sex. Hard now, easy later. Exactly. Or easy now, hard later. Uh, um, some of my friend here was happy uh, because I didn't use the F word. And then I fucking used the F word. You know what I am. You know what I am. Just fucking saying. <laughs> Do you know, apparently people who swear um, are, are more intellectual. There's a research study done. They are more intellectual and more honest. Hmm. Has Rob just made up that? Um, is that a, a real fact? Um, does that need fact checking? I did see something about that. But anyway, whatever. OK, so the, fir the third bird, the third part is accountability. So you've had your emotional high and low, you've regulated it, you've got a balanced state to make a decision. But we all make decisions all the freaking time. We, we make thousands of decisions a day. I don't know what the data is, but you know you make thousands of de decisions a day. But what gains ultimate results, ultimate results is accountability. Most people would say action. No, action without accountability is just ding dong, seesaw, left, right, up, down and going nowhere. Action without accountability is like driving to a destination you don't know. Or like you're in satnav and the satnav's got confused and it's just spinning you around in circles. That is action without accountability. So not only do you need to be decisive, yes, and take action, but you need accountability to the right actions. That can be mentors, support network. That can be your own accountability, tuning into your own pain. It can be setting a goal, having a competition. It, it can be desiring to, to win and to progress. But without accountability, more is said than done. And when all is said and done, more is said than done. So there you go. If you'd like more balanced and regulation of your emotions to make far better decisions and you'd like to gain far more accountability, then you need to join the Recurring Income Summit coming up at the end of this week. So it's coming up pretty quick. You need to make decisive action right now. But if you'd like to create multiple streams of leads, multiple streams of income, if you'd like to build recurring and passive income, if you'd like to know the asset classes to build consistent, unbreakable recurring income, you'd like the latest strategies and tactics 
um, and you like some of the best speakers. I've got um, one of the top guys in Coca-Cola, one of the top guys in Porsche and BMW and Lamborghini, in fact, the former CEO, then you need to come to the Recurring Income Summit. So you can either go to robmore.events. You can literally just type in robmore.events into your browser, robmore.events. I'm going to put, oh, the, the full link isn't there. Oh, never mind. Um, go to robmore.events. I'll write it in the comments. Probably need to put the HTTPS. So at that page, robmore.events, you will see um, most of the lineup, though not all. We've got a couple of surprises um, for the Recurring Income Summit. Uh, you will see some of the strategies and tactics you'll be able to book. It's robmore.events. I don't know if I said robmore.com. It's not. It's robmore.events. Simple as that. Go to robmore.events um, for the recurring give me a yes if you're in by the way give me a yes if you're registered um i've done something new in my company this since lockdown so i don't like running free events i like accountability and accountability to you is turning up to our events live is paying money um but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the first 15 people a free ticket. And then what I'm also going to do is take the fee that you would have charged. And I'm going to donate that to my foundation, the Rob Moore Foundation, to help young and underprivileged people start meaningful businesses that change the world. So we can all help each other together. We can work together because my vision is to help change the world with financial education, to help people start and scale their business, get better financial knowledge. I'm on this freaking mission. You know I'm on this mission. Look how many um, lives and content and TikToks and stories and reels and podcasts, etc. This is perfect for entrepreneurs and perfect for startups and scale-ups. It's basically if you want to learn how to invest in assets that create recurring income and you want to know how to build the asset of you and your personal brand and exchange your time to create assets to create recurring income. Multiple streams of leads, multiple streams of recurring income. That's essentially the summit. So I've put the link in the comments. Go to robmore.events. What I'm going to teach you is the unlearning habits you need to get rid of to liberate you for wealth and riches and multiple streams of income. I'm going to teach you um, so, so, some more of this um, fundamental, I suppose it's almost like a formula for emotions, decisions, accountability. I'm going to teach you my wealth formula. Wealth equals value plus fair exchange times leverage. I'm going to teach you my strategies and tactics, the main ones I use for creating recurring income, how to actually model and systemize recurring income. And then I've got a load of amazing speakers, some big hitters to teach you their asset classes and to create recurring income through subscription, through membership, through your personal brand, through real estate, through e-commerce, etc. So go to robmore.events and remember the key to life and money mastery and to not ruin your life is managing your emotions and regulating them into balance, taking them as feedback and understanding what the decision needs to be, making a decision in a balanced state so you make a wise decision knowing upsides and downsides, and then accountability to seeing that decision through to completion. Because you can decide to plant a tree, but you can come back next day and there is no tree. You plant the seed today, that's the decision. But 10 years later, you get that tree. So you need the accountability to keep fo focused on your mission and vision. Do you even know it? Thanks for tuning in. Hit the... Oh, shit. Sorry, I've just caught myself up in the cable. Hit the share button right now, people. People's 10-second emotional jacking and triggering and reactions and responses to that and not managing that is ruining their life. But if they manage those 10-second triggers, if they manage those emotions and make balanced decisions, then they master their life. It's literally a, a, a polarised effect. So hit the share button because I need as many people on the planet to understand that. People are saying pigeon. Was there a pigeon in, on my sunroof? Or am I a pigeon? I've been called many things, but not a pigeon. I've been called a bitch licker and a dick rider. I don't know what any of those are. Bitch liquor sounds good. Dick riding, not so much for, me, for my inclination. Anyway, hit the share button, share the love. I'm on a mission to help change the narrative around money. <laughs> There's a pigeon on the sunroof, apparently. Um, you know, people have loads of fears and doubts and projections and rejections around money. Liberate that from yourself and free yourself to be a money master, a multimillionaire without guilt, without fear, without judgment. Imagine how freeing that is. Free yourself, mother, mother truckers. Hit the share button right now. I love you all. Free yourself from your own upbringing and unlearn the bad habits around money. Um, hit the share button. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. <laughs> the pigeon's listening in. Pigeon just got some good free education there. Cheers, everyone.